I enjoy the dichotomy between her, you know, badassness. If you, mm -hmm. I feel like that word is so overused these days. And of course, she is that. But what I love the most is that she also has this really quirky side to her. Reacher season two is now streaming on Prime Video. And this season is about Reacher reuniting with his old uh, members of his old MP unit. Um, and trying to find out who's murdering other members of the group. So what was your reaction when you first learned that season two was going to be focused on the special investigators? Um, I was really excited about it because I had, you know, read all the books that Neely specifically was in and mm -hmm. Bad Luck and Trouble was one of my favorite of the whole series. And it's it tells us so much about, you know, the past of Reacher, the history, the world of the show, these people's, you know, backstories. So for me, it was a really smart idea, you know, that the executives and creators um, came up with to do this one as number two, I think, because you get so much insight uh, in the world and who these people are. Um, so for me, it was obviously really exciting to, um, to be able to dive into that with Alan and like figure out what the relationship between our characters is. Of course. And I think what's interesting about this season is um, viewers get to learn more about Neely. We didn't really see that as much in the first season, but we definitely learned more about her in season two. So what was it like for you to tell more of Neely's story in the second season? It was exciting. You know, I'm... I'm such a deep dive character. I do a lot of research when I when I approach my work. Yeah. And I had already sort of done so much of that going into season one. But, you know, my role was quite uh, small on season one in comparison to what it is this season. So yeah. uh, it was just really exciting to get to sort of share, mm -hmm. you know, all the stuff that I had come up with um, with the world. And, and I think, uh, of course, expand upon it. But uh, mostly... Uh, the relationship between Reacher and Neely that we got to explore that specifically, I think was really, really interesting. We learn more about the relationship between Reacher and Neely. I watched the fourth episode and she kind of explains, you know, why they get along so well. So um, ultimately, but why do you think they, Neely and Reacher understand each other better than really anyone in the group? I think because, you know, they're both quite socially awkward in their own way. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, Reacher is quite stunted and doesn't understand how to pick up on social cues. Neely understands them and can perceive them, but she is so guarded herself that, you know, she has a lot of trauma in her in her history and, uh, and has a very hard time, I think, connecting to people and letting her guard down. So they have this sort of shared just understanding that these people like no one else can sort of understand where they're coming from no one else can really get close to them and and that is just something that they share there's a simplicity to that that i think is really lovely um and then i think you know as we see in the show this season also these sort of the moral compass that neely has is one that reacher shares you know there is sort of um, a simplicity to the, how they see the world and how they approach the world um, that I think mm -hmm. is just a learned behavior of, you know, coming out of the military, but then um, how they've shown up for each other year in, year out, you know, in this way, I think uh, um, that's what I would say is probably the, the key element to their bond. Of course. And with that, how has it been working with Alan Richson, Richson uh, these last two seasons? Great. I mean, we uh, approach uh, the set in a similar way. You know, we I think we're quite efficient, both of us. And we have like an understanding of how we think the thing is going to get shot. And I think um, we collaborate really well. So, you know, I may have an idea. I was like, OK, we're going to fix a problem because the camera's over here and we need to land over here let's do let's do it this way you know and he's like great good idea or you know he sees it a certain way so and then i adjust to him so it's it's a uh, of course in collaboration with the directors but uh, it's really helpful to share that kind of communication and collaboration and i think in a way it's reflective of return neely you know they have a very efficient um approach to the work and i think uh i appreciate that alan and i have that kind of same um efficiency of course. And you mentioned how Neely is socially awkward, but there are some great qualities about her. So what do you enjoy most about playing your character? 
I enjoy the dichotomy between her, you know, badassness. If you, mm -hmm. I feel like that word is so overused these days. And of course, she is that. But what I love the most is that she also has this really quirky side to her, you know, kind of a, there's a childlike, endearing kind of quality about her. And she's always eating cereals and she's loving her video games and, and wants her chocolate milkshakes. I think that there's this, uh, yeah, just a childlike, endearing quality that plays up against this very hard world that she lives in and hard um, life that she's had. Um, so for me, it's a wonderful thing to be able to uh, bounce between, but also try to find a way to ground you know so mm -hmm. that it isn't um put on that it's it's a, it's really her um so those two things um and then of course all the action i love the action of course like, um do you get to do your own stunts from time to time i do yeah i generally try to do uh everything um because we, when they let me because um I was a former dancer and so I yeah. have, you know, training and choreography and and I am very comfortable being in my body. And, and I think, you know, if we can get the shot with me in it and we don't yeah. have to like shoot around it, uh, that's always better. And we have a great stunt team that, you know, they see how hard we work and they then will shape things to fit our abilities or, um, of course, our characters style but also you know they know that i want to go through the glass so they'll find a way to get me through the glass you know <laughs> instead of it being my stunt double yeah so what's your favorite action scene that you've filmed so far oh, there's so many uh there, there's a lot of really good ones i think uh one of my favorite is uh in the one of the later episodes so i can't spoil it for you right but there is a lovely uh sort of a tactical relay sequence between our four characters um outside and it, and i really love that sequence and then i of course love the sequence where we choreograph this big fight sequence in a hospital where i do indeed go through the glass awesome so, but can't spoil too much <laughs> of course totally understand <laughs> but uh um because of the success of reacher before season two aired it was announced that season three it, the show has been renewed for season three so has filming for the third season begun yet? Yes. Okay. Okay. I know you can't <laughs> say that much, but I was just making sure. So how has filming been so that far? That is all I can tell you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I definitely understand. So I'm looking forward to season three when that comes out uh, here in the foreseeable future. But you are also a writer and director, so along with being a dancer and an actor. But um, would you like to direct a future episode of Reacher if the opportunity presented itself? Wow. Um, I I would love to in, in, uh, in the idea of it. But I think, you know, that show is so specific it has such a specific tone it has such a specific mm. style yeah. um that i don't know that i actually on this particular show would like want that to be a priority i think there's there's such a cohesive vision you know we uh are having the same director coming in to do multiple episodes and I, so i think um I don't, I don't know that this is the show that I would do that on, but definitely down the road, if the opportunity presented itself, I, I think that would be fantastic. Like I said, I, I love action and I love, um, you know, this world that we're playing in. Um, so I think that could be really exciting. Of course. And before Reacher, you were on the CW series Swamp Thing. So what was that experience like for you being on the show that's uh, part of the DC comic book universe? Really interesting, you know, when the first, the show first got announced, it was so uh, amazing to see the cult following that that character, you know, mm -hmm. Swamp Thing from the comics had. Um, I heard somewhere that he's like the second most beloved DC character after Superman, you know. So mm -hmm. um, um, I think uh, it was exciting to, to get on to be a part of that world. Obviously, the show um, only went one season, and I think... Um, it could have there could have been more you know in that show right. but um but it was just wonderful to be a part of something that was like coming out of something very creative you know the the cgi they had built a swamp you know on stage when we were going to shoot and they had really put a lot of effort into making that world real and wanting to expand upon it so you know it's sad that it didn't get 
more uh, screen time, but it was still a wonderful experience to be a part of. Right, right. And also, you wrote an episode uh, of the ABC series Big Sky. So how did all that come about? Well, like you said, I'm both a writer and an actor, and um, and I like to be able to do both. I just, you know, pull double duty <laughs> in yeah. terms of scheduling. Um, and that was really during COVID also when so many productions were shut down, and, mm. and I this came around, and I was like, why wouldn't I? I live in Wyoming, and I love the cowboy life. You know, I've been riding horses since I was three years old, and mm. I thought this is the world that I've been wanting to play in forever. And that's really why I uh, decided to come onto the show uh, just to, you know, be in this Western crazy um, world. Uh, And it was, it was a great to be able to play in that world for a bit. Of course. And one last question for me before I let you go is um, I know you're staying busy with Reacher, but do you have plans to write and direct more um, with other projects uh, next year and beyond? Yeah, I just uh, finished a pilot um, that we are shopping around at the moment, um, which I love. i um, very excited about that project. Uh, and eventually down the line, would definitely love to direct. The thing I think with directing is that you have to, when you're directing, you have to focus on that because it's mm-hmm. such a big, uh, immersive task. And I think acting and writing I can kind of do both at the same time with directing I would have to you know make time to really um fully immerse myself in that um so it's just a scheduling thing more than anything but I definitely plan to work it into to my career um and my my schedule um for for the future probably within the next couple of years absolutely well, Maria, I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, what you have next. I'm looking forward to seeing the rest of Reacher season two. It's been great so far seeing you and the rest of the cast in action. So uh, thank you very much for your time. I really do appreciate it and continue success to you. <laughs>